it is completely diabolic to declare Biafra agitators wanted and release Boko Haram terrorist Namdi Kano's lawyer. Hmm. Aloy Jima called the lead, the lead council of Namdi Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, on Friday said it was ironical that the Nigerian government declared some people wanted for agitating for Biafra while freeing hundreds of terrorists from detention. The Nigerian Defense Headquarters had declared the head of the deterrent the, the the Totterate of State of IPOP, Chike Edozem, and 96 others, including other Biafra secessionists, wanted for various crimes, including terrorism and insurgency. Also on the wanted list is the Finland based self acclaimed Biafra leader Simon Ekba. Meanwhile, a federal high court sitting in Borono has ordered the immediate release of at least 313 uh, detained suspected Buku boys arrested by the military. The court ordered the release of the suspected terrorists for lack of evidence to jail them after investigations. Reacting, Ejimako wondered why the Nigerian government would release the terrorism suspects arrested by the military, why some Biafra agitators were declared wanted. Posting on X, the IPOB leader said it was ironical and another stark evidence of the hindrance injustice that was responsible for the continued detention of Namdi Kano. According to Ijimako, it is an uzimaro for the army to declare someone wanted for seeking a separate state and turn around to free hundreds of terrorists all in the same week. It is another stark evidence of the horrendous injustice, injustice that is responsible for the continued detention of Mazen Namdekan. My people, I don't hear and so this one, uh, uh, one of Mazen Namdekan lead counsel, he said, you know, the stand. Nigeria government. He said Nigerian government they declare agitators wanted. But at the same time, in the same week, they free terrorists. You can see talk say you can now understand the reason why they have not released Mazin Namdekano. He said, What is going on in this country? It's injustice. These people, these terrorists are being freed by Nigerian army. These are people who was arrested by Nigerian army, that they are terrorists. But today, they say they are no longer terrorists. In, in many court, in many prisons today, or say, you will find Biafra agitators. Maybe one way or the other, they don't arrest them in the Southeast. Say so then they agitate for Biafra. So many of them, they know the family members self, they know they get access to them just because they are agitating. But these people, every now and then, they will be arrested. We are talking about people who have made life horrible for Nigerians, who have made life difficult. They don't displace, they don't sack many Nigerians. They have destroyed many homes. They have made people go hungry. Many people are now homeless. Many people are now widow, widowers you know, orphans and all that. And Nigerian government don't even look at those those faces. They are just concerned about those people who are committing the crimes. What, they, what about those people they have committed the crime against? Barista Lloyd Jimako, the lead counsel for the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Namdi Kano, has said that it, it is ironical for the president, Bola Tinubu-led Nigerian government, to declare wanted separatists who are seeking a nation of their own while freeing hundreds of terrorists from detention. Record that it had been reported that the Nigerian Defense Headquarters declared the head of the Detectorate of State of IPOP, Chike Idozem, and 96 others, including other 
Biafra Secessionists wanted for various crimes, including terrorism, insurgency, and violent crimes. Also on the wanted list is the Finland based Simon Ekba, the Prime Minister of the Biafra uh, government in Ezai, and self a proclaimed disciple of Namdi Kano. Meanwhile, Sahara reporters had reported that Nigerian Federal High Court, sitting in Borono, the Borono state capital, ordered the immediate release of at least 313 detained suspected terrorists arrested by the military. The court ordered the release of the suspected terrorists from lack of evidence to jail them after investigations. So, in a post on the X platform on Friday, Kano's lawyer wondered how the Nigerian government could declare people who are seeking a separate nation wanted for terrorism and at the same time release over 300 suspects arrested by the military for alleged terrorism and violent crimes. Ijimako described it as ironical and another stark evidence of the horrendous injustice that was responsible for the continued detention of Namde Kanu. The lawyer said, it is, it is very clear. Now the army to declare someone wanted for seeking a separate state and turn around to free hundreds of terrorists all in the same week. Hmm. Well, Nigerians, you've all heard it now. What's your take on this? I beg, subscribe to this channel, share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you.